If you are watching this video, you are probably a new parent or about to be a parent, and you're in the market for a stroller. Strollers are expensive and they can be a huge investment. So how do you know what's the right one and how to justify paying the money for it? Well, I'm Katie from Burnt Pancakes. I am a mom of three and I've been around the block. Literally, I've been pushing a stroller for the last eight years and I know a thing or two about strollers. I have with me today the Uppa Baby Vista 2, one of the hottest strollers on the market right now. I grabbed my friends and I'm going to give it a test drive to find out my honest opinion about this stroller and let you know if I think it's worth the money. This is the Uppa Baby Vista 2 stroller. A huge selling point is that it converts to a double stroller and can even hold three kids with the purchase of a few additional parts. Even if you're having your first baby, thinking ahead and getting a double stroller is smart. The starting price is just over $1,000, which is a huge price tag. But let's take a look at what it comes with. All of the items I show will be linked in the description below. Included with the purchase, you will get the frame and wheels, a toddler seat, a bassinet, the toddler seat bug shield, toddler seat rain shield, bassinet bug shield, and a carrying case. I love that this comes with the bassinet. With other similar brands, you have to purchase it separately. It is super easy to take off and on and goes both ways. Some of the features include a perforated mattress pad that's water repellent and safe for sleeping in. The cover has UPF 50 shade and it unzips in the back for airflow. The color of this particular one is called Emmet, but there are a total of 10 colors in this brand and they are so nice. The toddler seat is for ages three months and up and holds up to 50 pounds. It has a nice leather belly band that can also have a snack attachment. It has a five point harness so you know your child is strapped in safely. The shade is UPF 50 and I loved that this was easy to get on and off and it can be reversible. With one hand, I was able to easily recline the seat. Check out how easy it is to reverse the seat. The Uppa Baby Vista car seat does not come standard with this purchase, but I loved that if you do get it, it can attach to the stroller without any additional attachments. Other car seats do work, but you need to purchase attachments for those. Let's take a look at just a few of the combinations you can do with the seat. Between the car seat, bassinet, toddler seat, and additional rumble seat, there really are so many possibilities. Purchasing this additional piggyback kickboard will actually allow you to take three kids on the stroller as well. I really love the telescoping leather adjustable handle. For someone who's 5'9", the height of the taller part is really, really nice. The brake is really easy to set with just a push of your foot. I heard a lot of positive reviews about the large basket, so let's see how my Jujube diaper bag fits inside. That was easy and there's plenty of room still. Now let's look at the folding. Check how smooth it is to open up the stroller. And putting it away in the car was just as easy. The folding levers are right by the handle and in one movement I was able to fold it up. I really like that it stands up while folded. The frame weighs 20 pounds and it fit really nicely in the back of my Hyundai Palisade. Let's take this thing for a stroll. Because the wheels are shock absorbing and all wheel suspension, this stroller is one of the smoothest I've ever pushed. It turns really easily and it just glides very nicely. 
This carryall pack comes separately, but I find that this is one of the best ones on the market. And if you're gonna have a stroller, being able to put your water and your keys and your phone and baby gear in a carryall is very important. I had this stroller for a few hours, so let's talk about what I loved about it. First off, it's a double and even a triple stroller. So that alone is awesome. Compared to other double strollers, this one has the smoothest ride. This stroller folded up so easily because the lever is right by your hand and it was one step. I also really liked that when you fold it, it stands straight up and you don't have to lay it on the ground. To me, the bassinet was an added bonus, but something I really liked. The bassinet has been approved for babies to sleep in, so unlike a car seat, you can leave your baby in it, bring it into the house, and let them continue to sleep. The stroller really feels like it's made out of quality material, from the fabric to the framing. Also, I like that they have a three-year warranty in case anything happens. This might seem small, but I love that you can attach the Uppa Baby car seat directly onto the stroller without an additional attachment. The basket was a big win because I felt like it was bigger but more accessible than others that I've tried. Last up, I just really like their color choices. Now for some of the cons. I do think that the sticker price is a lot, especially when there are cheaper strollers on the market. Another con would be that I don't think it's made for jogging. I tested it out and it worked, but it's definitely not a jogging stroller. Well, it's the moment of truth. Can I recommend this stroller to you with its big price tag? The answer, yes. I, for one, know the importance in investing in a stroller that will grow with your family, and this one is at the top of my list. I know that price tag is really big, but consider this. You're probably gonna spend more money on diapers than you will on this stroller. So why not invest in something that you're gonna like and that's gonna last? And here's a piece of advice. Stick it on your registry. Most likely you're gonna have a group of people who wanna go in on a big gift for you and this is the perfect way to get your stroller. Or check out a local consignment store. Many times they have great deals on strollers that are used but in excellent condition. Let me know your opinion in the comments below. Do you think this stroller is worth its price? And do you wanna see me do a comparison with another brand? Let me know in those comments. If you got any value from this video, stroll on down and hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to my channel so that I can help you with more videos. And remember new parents, everyone burns their first pancake, so just keep flipping.